What a weekend for Badger and Packer fans. Great games with exciting finishes for both teams. And sports director Jay Wilson is here to tell us what happens next. Did you get any sleep? Uh, two hours on Sunday morning. That was awesome. <laughs> and then, in fact, uh, from about 1 until 3 this afternoon. I got it, it's day off. He's coming in to help us out here. Okay, how about them Badgers? Uh, Saturday night, you know, it was the first ever Big Ten championship game, and you really didn't know what kind of atmosphere and, and really how many people would show up for one thing. Because, you know, for example, a lot of Nebraska people purchased tickets a while back because they figured Nebraska would be in it. I'll tell you what, Lucas Oil Stadium, which is where the game was played in Indianapolis, was as electric and loud, not just Wisconsin, but also Michigan State. It, it, it was one of the better atmospheres for a, a, it would be ranking with a bowl game, with many bowl games we've been to, certainly. But um, just, you know, the game itself, and boy, those commercial breaks are really long. <laughs> it, when you're sitting there watching the game yeah. at the stadium, they seem really long. I imagine the same thing when you watch that. So off to the Rose Bowl for the second year in a row. Yeah. Playing Portland. Oregon, yeah. Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, uh, Eugene, Eugene Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. And okay. uh, what you'll notice about these two teams is that they score points. Wisconsin's third in the country, in, or excuse me, fourth in the country in scoring, and Oregon's third in the country in scoring, and they all both average about 46, 45 points a game. <laughs> So whoever can stop one team on one drive will probably win the game. See, if the championship game is a lot like what they did before, this may be the more exciting game to watch. Well, yeah, and, and uh, you listen to, to various talk shows today, that's what people are saying, that, that you know, uh, LSU, Alabama, the national championship game is going to be something. But, but this is, is going to be as entertaining a matchup as there is. Mm -hmm. Scoring's always entertaining. Mm -hmm. All right, how about them Packers? 12-0. <laughs> oh. Who's going to beat them? You know, think, think about that. It, certainly. The Giants got close. The Giants got close, but you know, you look at the rest of their games in the regular season. They play Oakland at home next Sunday, and Oakland lost in Miami something like 34-7 yesterday or 34-14. Then it's at Kansas City. The Chiefs, well, they beat the Bears yesterday, but then again, <laughs> That's who, again who does it? <laughs> and then uh, two more home games, Bears and Lions after that. I mean, 16 in the regular season is very, very realistic. But what is the value then of like resting your players? You know, they've clinched the NFC North already. Is there? Are mm -hmm. they going to do that? All depends who you ask. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of fantasy football owners that say you better play them all the way. But you know, the Indianapolis Colts are the example. Uh, two, three years ago, where they got to 14 and 0, they rested guys and lost a couple of games. And they never got it back. But uh, in 1998, the Denver Broncos went 14 and 0, lost, came back, won the Super Bowl. So you know all the beat, beat the Packers. Yeah, but you know, yeah. you know what we're finding out about really good teams? They've got really good quarterbacks. Now this is not news, I guess, but uh, you know Peyton Manning for all those years, the Colts were were ultra competitive. Um, Brett Favre all those years with the Packers. Aaron Rodgers. Teams that don't have quarterbacks. Yeah, not so much. Yeah. Not so, so much. It's a passing league now. So that's why they make all that money. Back to college real quick. Big yeah. news for Monty Ball. Yeah, we just found out that he's going to be one of the finalists for the Heisman Trophy presentation uh, Saturday in New York. Uh, the odds of him winning it are, are slim and none, and slim <laughs> just left town, as they say. <laughs> but uh, still, what a great honor, and deservedly so. Uh, 38 touchdowns in a season is unbelievable, yeah, no matter how is. you score. Both, both teams. Yep. Remarkable seasons. You bet. A lot of fun to cover. Yep, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Keep covering it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jay. Okay.